Several victims are out thousands of dollars, all because of a puppy scam. The Better Business Bureau says a bogus breeder claiming to be from the upstate enticed would-be customers with a professional-looking website. In the 7 News Consumer Exclusive, what you need to know to avoid online pet scams. When something tugs at your heartstrings like a puppy, it's hard not to get swept up. Got started looking at Frenchies, and I was like, dear Lord in heaven, these are the stinking cutest dogs I have ever seen. Kelly Miner in Greensboro admits it was love at first sight when she saw Adele on a website called DivineFrenchiesHome.com. The purebred listed for half the going rate. I'm like, do they not realize how much these dogs are going for right now? Or did I just stumble onto a really good deal? So they had me going. I was definitely on the hook. But as Ginger Watson with the Better Business Bureau can attest, a professional looking website does not mean it's legit. It looks very much like a legitimate website. They have gone in, they have found the photos and they've downloaded, they've typed up an, a lot of information about them supposedly how they've started. The more we research this website is where we found the duplicated website. Check it out, identical dog photos. And how can that be when PoeticFrenchBulldogsHome.com is located in Alexandria, Virginia and Divine Frenchies says it's in Spartanburg. The BBB says both appear to be scams. Turns out this property is a private home. So why did scammers choose this spot? Well, it happens to be listed for sale online and the BBB says scammers like to find vacant lots. The Spartanburg homeowners even writing in Google reviews, quote, eight weeks later, I still have people showing up at my house when this is a scam. But several victims never saw that warning. The BBB scam tracker report shows one Massachusetts couple lost $1,350 and a woman in New Hampshire was conned out of $4,300. Watson says there's no bigger scam indicator than a super low price. That's a big red flag. Your, your red flags on these are, one, they request large deposits, $1,000 and up, or the full price of the puppy up front. The other is the payment apps like Venmo or Cash App or Zelle or even a wire transfer because those are very hard to trace and very hard to get refunded. Miner says it was the Venmo name that gave it away. It had nothing to do with the company. I was like, shame on you. Shame on everything you guys are doing. Y'all are bad news. And I never heard from them again. They didn't respond back. So glad you trusted your instincts. Yeah. And you probably sure. know by now that there have been several others who, you know, d didn't know and did give over thousands of dollars. To that particular website, those particular people? Yes. Oh, I did not know that. I mean, it, it, it doesn't surprise me. To protect yourself, be skeptical of Google reviews. The BBB found several that appear to be fake. As for those photos, right click to do a reverse search so you can figure out if they are truly original. There she is. Fortunately for Minor, it's a happy ending. You do, baby girl. And you can bet she didn't buy her French bulldog Gertie without doing a live video chat to see the dog with the breeder before paying a dime. And that really is the big take home message. Do not buy any animal online if you can't do a live video chat to make sure that that animal really exists. The BBB has reported both websites and Divine Frenchies has actually been taken down. Unfortunately, it's unlikely the victims will get their money back since the method of payment is virtually untraceable.